Hello, and welcome to IntraWeb 17 in IDE Designer and more. I'm Chad Hauer, also known as Kudzu, and I'll be your tour guide today on this short journey. Today we will be covering the new What You See is What You Get Designer, which is built directly into the Delphi IDE and the ETA of IntraWeb 17. As this year's session time is much reduced, we will only be covering a very little bit of IntraWeb 17. Please visit our website for more information. Firstly, expect a few glitches. The designer is very much a work in progress. It is not complete yet, and it is under active beta development. Thus, I won't even bother calling out minor glitches if they appear during this demo. To open a designer, simply open the page like you would a normal Delphi form or interweb page. Interweb 17 will launch an alternate designer. Currently, as we are evolving the designer to support the what you see is what you get designer, there is currently an amalgam of the old and new designer. This is because the new designer is not fully functional yet. Later, the older designer parts, which you see now, will go away, and only the new what you see is what you get designer will be seen. The what you see is what you get designer will support IWML editing directly as well. To activate the new designer, for now as a temporary step, we click the designer tab. As you can see, however, it loads the page exactly as it would be seen in the browser. This is live HTML that you see and it uses the Chromium engine. So you can be assured that what you see really is what you will get. Notice that the controls can be live at design time. These are jQuery UI accordions. Not only are they rendered in the Delphi IDE, but they are in fact live as well. We can expand and collapse them. Notice the green highlight? This is a designer selector which shows which control is currently selected. It also displays the control class name and name if one exists. If we look at the object inspector, we can see that it updates as we select controls in a designer. This time you will notice in addition to the green highlight, there is also a bluish highlight. The bluish highlight is the cell that the control exists in. We don't have the time to cover this today, but controls can exist in polymorphic cells based on their container. Cells are used for layout specific properties, most usually alignments and the like. The designer also reflects changes from the property inspector. As you can see, when I change a property in the object inspector, it is updated automatically in the designer. From the property inspector, we can also set events. To go back to the designer, just press F12 as usual. To run, just press F9. Note again that I am using a debug build which is significantly slower. In your lease builds, the libraries are all merged and minified and load in one call. To run, just press F9. Note again that I'm running a debug build which is significantly slower. In release builds, the libraries are all merged and minified and load in one call. In debug builds, Dozens of separate files are loaded and this takes noticeable amount of time. Let me tell you about one more cool fact. This designer is actually an Interweb 17 application itself which is running live inside the Delphi IDE. It can also run outside and independently from the Delphi IDE or even online in Chrome, Firefox, or other supported browser. In addition to the previous demo, IntraWeb 17 has native bootstrap and bootstrap template support. What I will show you here is based on normal IntraWeb templates, so you can mix in HTML without needing bootstrap if you want. This is the same designer as before, but this page also has a bootstrap template. Pieces that come from the template are not editable as they are raw HTML, but we can select and modify any pieces that are interweb controls. Since a template is displayed in the designer, we can more easily see the end result of our page at runtime. It is absolutely what you see is what you will get. In the future, the designer will also support editing the HTML pieces as well. Because of some time constraints, we chose to focus on the designer. 
there is so much more that is interesting in Interweb 17. 17 is fully backwards compatible with 14 and 15. I really want to stress this point. You can freely mix and match your 14 or 15 pages with 17 pages in a single application. This allows you to instantly reuse your existing code and add 17 pages as desired for newer functionality, or port over individual pages that you would like to take advantage of features in 17. 17 also supports full two-way synchronization. Any changes made in the client will automatically be reflected to the server and vice versa. This allows things that are modified by JavaScript to be fully seen by the server, including UI changes such as hidden, visible, or moving the controls. 17 transmits all data as REST and JSON. This is done transparently for you. You simply connect your controls and data sets like usual, but 17 will transform them into REST and JSON. If you are explicitly creating JSON and REST endpoints, 17 can also use these. 17 has an advanced form of client-side data binding, which supports navigation and more on the client. It also does two-way synchronization. A user can make any number of changes to the data across multiple rows in the browser or across multiple data sets. Only the changes are sent to the server. If the server then changes individual pieces of data, those individual pieces of data are automatically sent back to the client as well without needing to update the whole page. Finally, IntraWeb 17 can also run in WordPress. We will be supporting Joomla and others in the future as well. IntraWeb 17 is fairly complete with only two remaining items. These items are the What You See is What You Get Designer and Filling Out the Controls. The What You See is What You Get Designer is currently in progress as we saw earlier. The hardest and biggest parts though are already complete. What remains is a known unknown. We still have to complete control manipulation and a few other items. Because 17 supports far more than the simple XY grid type layout, the control manipulation is far more complex than in previous versions, but is not a major hurdle. The UI and mechanisms have already been worked out and it is down to implementation. Only the UI needs implemented, the runtime already supports all the necessary pieces. And since the designer itself is an Interweb 17 application, this is rather easy. For controls, we already have support for standard controls, jQuery UI, data tables, full calendar, chart.js, svg.js, bootstrap, and many more. Many of these controls were built using base functionality though, and we have to go back and add support for the extended functionality for it to be complete. Yes, 17 is well overdue from our initial projections. There are two major reasons for this. One delay was caused by external factors outside of our control. We know that users don't much care about these, but I assure you they were major and unavoidable. There were major electrical supply issues in the Interweb 17 development office beyond our control, which caused a lot of serious issues and some delays. Secondly, and the primary reason for these delays, is that we drastically expanded the scope of what 17 would include and pulled down some features that we initially planned to release only in 17.1 or later. While there were several such items, one item that recently again impacted the schedule was the decision to bring down the what you see is what you get designer from 17.1 to 17.0. While this added an additional delay moving us into early 2020, we believe that the end result will be worth the additional wait. We only make such decisions after careful discussion and deliberation with our customer base and beta testers. Our decision seems to be affirmed by a spike in website traffic after a recent screenshot release of the new designer. After releasing simple screenshots on Facebook, LinkedIn, and our blog, our website traffic immediately saw an increase of about one-third for a sustained period. That's the end of the presentation. Thank you for your time.